Hello my beauties and welcome back to another video. This week is a plan with me video. However, if you see something different, this is my Erin Condren that I got, I think two weeks ago. And I picked this cover because I am so in love with florals and I did pick the neutral color inside as you can see and the rose gold binding that matches with the rose gold foil in the front of the book. So this plan with me video is going to be a little bit different because I am not, well I wouldn't say I am not, um, I'll be using other shops stickers for this plan with me. It's actually going to be three shops that I'm going to mix into one spread because I feel that when I buy stickers from other shop it's harder for me to plan with their stickers because I'm not used to their stickers to use and number two it's Erin Condren I usually plan in my happy planner when I do use other shop stickers I do get nervous because there would be some stickers that I need that they don't have and you know when you're so out of your norm in planning with stickers it just seems all new to you again so that's why I thought if I combine two shops with my shop, it will make the spread look a little bit better and that I have everything I need in my hand. So the first shop I am using is called Red Lyrics. I think she's from the States. And the second one is called The Sweet Planner. She's actually local in my own hometown. And I love supporting Etsy shop anywhere in the world. So. As you can see, this is all the other uh, stickers that I've used in the past, so I'm gonna try to reuse, not reuse, but use up all the stickers that I don't use and to this plan with me. As you can see here, I've used some of her sticker, the Red Lyric stickers, with my Kiki Condren in my previous week, but I have some left over. Figure I could just combine everything. So this week plan with me is from July 4th to July 10th. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to work on the bottom washi, seeing that this whole page is all about washi. And I am not too sure, because there's different sizes and they're all different patterns. So as you can see here, I am debating what I should use, how to use it, what size, so on and so forth. So after playing around with the measurement of these washi, it just didn't fit. So I'm going to add some of my gold washi here just to cover up the extra space that it's providing. I don't know if you can hear my kids, but they're going crazy and screaming. Oh my goodness. Next, I'm going to pull out some ombre heart check boxes that which I may think will match these two kits together. So I am just going through all my sheets of ombre heart check boxes that I haven't used and just use them for this kit. I'm going to use the sweet planners to do headers for my headers because I've already used the red lyrics header for my Kiki Condren so I don't have enough to cover up the week so I'm just going to use the one that came with the sweet planners kit. I am not sure if this kit is still available for the sweet planner. Her shop is actually closed until September. I believe she's going on a trip and will not reopen until September. Whereas for Red Lyrics, I know her kit is available because I did purchase this kit three weeks ago and shipping was amazingly fast. So I was pretty happy to get that kit. I forgot to add that my ombre check boxes is actually made for the happy planner so that's why you see the spreads kind of shifted up so the midsection the blue full boxes are actually from the sweet planner and the pink ones are from the red lyrics now her full boxes boxes her full boxes are rounded corners 
Um, I didn't have a difficulty using it, but for those who like to do what no white space planet might find it a bit hard because you will have to cover the corners for it, but I think it looks pretty. And as usual, I like to trim my full boxes midsection just to give it a bit more of a defined look to it. At first I thought I'm going to do the top washi, however before I did that I decided to put in my meal plan stickers. So I'm just going through my pile of stickers from my shop and just place some meal plan sticker throughout this week. Just laying it on top of the gold foil washi just so that a little bit of gold foil shows through because I do not want it to have that bold goldness of the washi if that makes sense. I guess I'm trying to say I don't want to overwhelm the spread with the flashy gold foil washi tape. Now because the washi tape that I want to use for the top header is a little bit see-through, I do have to cover the black header up there with some of my headers. As you can tell, my stickers are blocked through, that's why it has that blue backing. So even if I put a lighter sticker on top, the black will not show through and I'm just peeling a few of my blank headers and I'm just going to lay them on top to cover the black headers. I am so loving this mix match of shops and stickers. It's actually really coming together. Now, those of you, believe it or not, I don't plan this ahead of time. I literally do this while I'm filming this. So to me, I don't even know how the week will look like. I just go as I plan. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I can't envision it I just know that these pattern matches together and I think it will work and I just gotta make it work that's all it is I don't think I've mentioned this but this week's spread is going to be a no white space and because there's only limited of stickers that I could use between the red lyrics and the sweet planner shop and my shop I'm just gonna fill the top boxes with the washi because I just find it easier to work with no white space like that. I'm just going to plan my todays and I find that these icon sticker is actually from the Red Lyrics shop and they are huge and I'm not used to using huge icon sticker but it does stand out and I like it. It's a little bit different from my, my icon stickers but it does stand up and it will draw your eyes towards the event and that you know what's going on that day. Now because Erin Condren days are spread out with a little white gap, I like to have that white gap showing so I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and just trimming the washi tape in between the gap and filling the week as we go.
Once the week is done, I'm going to work on the sidebar. Usually I do use my sidebar sticker just to cover up the whole sidebar, but because I don't have any of those left in my pile of stickers, I do have extra stickers from the Sweet Planner shop that I didn't use yet because I only used two of her faux boxes, so I do have the four left on her sheet. So I'm just going to stack them up on the sidebar. Right here, I'm just positioning it and seeing which one I want to go with and hopefully that it will cover the sidebar. The Red Lyrics kit do come with beautiful decal stickers so I'm just going to decorate the sidebar with it here I'm just playing around to see how I like to position it most of you guys may know me by now and I just hate wasting stickers because when will I ever use these stickers again because this these stickers do come with the kit so I do have two washi left from Red Lyrics washi sheet and I'm just going to apply that on the top part of my dates but not going to cover the date but just like a little trim on the top part of the page However, before I do so, I do kind of want to tie in the gold from the bottom from the bottom section of the page. So here I am just lining it out before I put her washi tape on. Just so that the weekly spread is balanced from top to bottom. I am so in love with this week's spread. I honestly, I wouldn't imagine how this spread turned out because I had no idea how it would turn out. And I'm so happy that it worked, that both kids do work well together. I am going to quickly fill this in with a teal pen because I think the teal really stands out with the pink in this spread. So that's why I went with the teal pen or slash marker instead of just black. I felt that this spread needs some quotes or some words so I'm just flipping through my Man Be Happy Planner quote book and found one that matches the color schemes. Actually the color really do match that pink that I'm going to put there so I'm just going to trim out the sticker because I do not like square stickers, square quote stickers and plus it fits perfectly in the reef when I do trim it out. Next, I, for the sidebar, I do feel it's kind of empty too, so I'm just going through my stash to see what I could add there too. I found a see-through love sticker from the Mambi Mother's Day collection sticker, so I just placed it there because it fits perfectly. And lastly, the bottom washi, I don't know if you can see, but I'll show you guys the pink area. I felt that that's kind of empty, so I wanted to find some kind of word to put into that space. I believe this sticker sheet, the foil clear sticker sheet is from Heidi Swap. So I'm just going through all the words to see what fits and I decided to use the word serendipity. I just had so much fun doing this spread. I love the brightness of the teal color and the softness of the pink really works well with each other. And also the gold accent really complements the spread. This is definitely totally different from my norm from planning from my happy planner, not to mention using two kits from different shops that I adore and to mix them together. So it was quite a challenge, but I had so much fun doing it. I'll have both shops links listed down below and you guys could just go over and see what they have to offer. Let them know that I sent you there. Ooh, on a side note, I opened up a PO box and I would love to get some snail mail from you guys. If you guys do have time, I'd love to hear from you. 
and that information will be down below too. Ooh, also today I will be posting on my Instagram accounts or my Facebook accounts of the new color scheme that I'll be using for the September mystery kits. There will be three color scheme because of the monthly kits and the two weekly kits so I'll be posting them throughout the day so sorry if it feels like I'm spamming you like crazy with my Instagram posts but I do want to spread them out so that you guys don't get too overwhelmed with all the colors that are involved in it okay I'm done chatting so thank you again guys for watching if you if you if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed please do I would truly appreciate that because I do upload video hopefully once a week of plan with me videos also comment below if you like to see more of this type of videos of mixing and matching kits or that if you guys have any suggestion about which kit I should mix and match or that you would like to see just leave me a comment below I love hearing from you guys and I will see you guys later happy planning bye